Hey, this is Richard Reyes, the financial quarterback, and welcome to another episode of Financial QB TV. I want to tell you a couple stories. Um, one is a personal story about me, and then another one is on a recent meeting that I had. Um, I want to share the story with you, and this is my father died when I was young, uh, so I was raised by a single mom. So I am well aware of not only the personal issues involved, but the financial issues involved with uh, being a widow. Um, and I think because of that, it's why I'm often called in or referred in to a recent widow to help them uh, after their spouse dies to help them uh, get back on their financial feet. Now here's a staggering statistic that you need to know. Based on current life expectancy and demographics, about 70% of women today, 70% uh, of baby boomer women will actually um, be widowed. Um, the mortality tables show that women outlive men by about two and a half years. Now, since women live longer and typically marry men that are older, uh, that very easily means that a lot of women will go into retirement as a widow uh, for anywhere from 10, 20, or 30 years. So based on that evidence, we have to understand uh, in the current situation, we have to understand that women will predominantly be uh, the ones who pay the consequences of not being properly uh, prepared for the event of being a widow. Now, a couple of months ago, and this has happened a lot, but a couple of months ago, most recent, I met a 47-year-old woman who um, her husband had passed away from cancer. Uh, she had four boys. So she came in and we uh, talked about and uh, her husband had left her with a million dollar life insurance policy. And in her mind, uh, not only in her mind, but as she was talking to me, she stated, you know what? I'm so amazed and I never thought that my husband would leave me a millionaire um, and because she let she received a million dollar life insurance policy. Well, at the same time, she begins to tell me her needs and desires. So, of course, the first thing was that she was going to build a custom home um, and also the ability for the kids to go to school. And at the same time, they were going to be able to afford that beach condo that her and her husband always wanted to have. When I told her to slow down and say, hey, I think you're going to be shocked that a million dollars at uh, today's interest rates of roughly 1%, about $10,000 is what we can realistically get from that a year and, um, and not have the fear of running out of money. Now with doing some additional planning, I can probably bump that up to about thirty-five dollars to $38,000. But you have to understand that a 4% withdrawal rate, rate uh, these days, you're very easily run out of money about 40 year, in, in about 40 years. 30 to 30 to 40 years depending on the situation so she began to obviously be concerned because she stated to me you know what uh, my husband made two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year I can't be expected to live on thirty five to thirty eight thousand dollars a year well again it's very difficult to have a conversation with somebody to tell them you know what a million dollars is just not enough to cover the lifestyle that you were accustomed to at $250,000 a year. Now, many of you are not in the $250,000 category. Uh, some of you are less. But still, the issue is the same. How many of you watching this video today, watching this video right now, are in the same exact situation? where you're just not prepared. You think you might be prepared, but you're not really prepared for that moment that you become a widow and you have to get back on your financial feet. So I strongly recommend that you look, you and your husband look at your own life insurance situation and see what would happen to your family and to yourself. If your spouse um, would pass away. How would you get back on your financial feet? So with that, I'll see you next time on Financial QB TV.